Hi, sweetie. How are you? Hi, Reese Beer. Hi, Bobby. Hello. You're so cute. How are you, gorgeous girls? How are you ladies doing? Can you say hi to the peoples? Hello. Hello. You're so adorable. Hey, Ray. Hi, Ray Ray. Um, Ray, we were trying to say hello. Hi, BB Ray. How are you? You're so beautiful, too. Who else do we have? Huckster. Hi, Hucky. Um, baby. Baby. Baby Pig. Are you hiding on us? Baby. Yes, she is. And who else do we have? Hi, Bubs. Hi, Bubby. How are you? Where's your girlfriend? Where'd Autumn go? Here's Autumn. Hi, sweetie. Hi, gorgeous. How are you? Hi, my Autumn. Hi, sweetie. You're so beautiful. So, hello, piggy people. Today, I wanted to make a video to let you guys know that I am sorry, first off, for not making videos lately. I kind of took a little bit of time. And I've taken time to reflect on owning guinea pigs, and I have come to the difficult decision that the piggies that I currently have will be my last piggies. I have found the last year of owning piggies to be extremely difficult. Last year was really hard, this year has been super hard. Lots of losses, lots of illnesses. It's been extremely expensive, and I think I need a break from owning piggies. Now, obviously, I have very young piggies right now. Um, baby isn't even a year, and Busby just turned a year, so I will still have piggies for probably, you know, hopefully a seven more years. Just not as many by the seven years. So the youngest is uh, Baby here. She'll be a year soon, and then Busby, he just turned a year, and then Autumn will be three this year. And then everybody else is basically classed as a senior, because Hucky's five, Ray will be five, uh, Reese is four and a half, and then Velvet will be four. Yes, baby. So, currently right now, I feel like I have my hands full, and I have had them full since basically, uh... February because Reese has the ongoing abscess issue so it is a continuous process of keeping her abscess cleaned and keeping her comfortable and me filing her top teeth and she has been on medication since February now as you guys can see she eats uh, she looks beautiful she's happy is she happy when I'm cleaning her abscess no but we have a pretty good schedule and routine so for now we're doing all right, but I have to admit it is very draining that this is every morning and every night of tidying. Now, there's not always stuff in it to tidy, but I always am checking and flushing it regardless. Sometimes it can be really nasty, and other times it'll be okay. And now the same goes for Velvet. She also has uh, possibly like dental disease like Reese, so she has the one missing incisor, so I do have to file her teeth her top teeth as well, and constantly monitor her jaw to make sure her abscess isn't coming back. And then that's pretty much it for our daily thing, but like, so I have to be on the clock for medications for Reese every 12 hours. And that's another thing about owning guinea pigs is you're cleaning them every morning and every night to tidy them up. I have forever always had somebody on medications that I have to be here for. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of money, and I do have bad allergies slash asthma to their hay, and it does require me to like wear a respirator in here when I'm doing stuff, or a dust mask, and that might be a bonus to eventually get hay out of my life since it is a big allergen to me. But regardless, I'm going to enjoy all the piggies I currently have, I, so I have seven pigs which is down from 10. Um, it's been really hard to deal with that I lost all three skinny pigs this year. It's just been a lot of loss, a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of effort, 
a lot, a lot of. I love them so dearly, and guinea pigs are just one of my absolute favorite animals. But I think um, I am finished. I think I need a break. Ever since I lost like apple and pecan, it's been, it hasn't felt the same. They were two of the friendliest pigs I have ever had. I always wanted cuddles and snuggles and a human attention. And they really made my day coming into the room and seeing them. Now, don't get me wrong, I love absolutely everybody that is in this room. And they all have their own qualities. So, yeah, it was a tough t decision to come to, but I think it's going to be the right one. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!